I wouldn't advise you to quit what you're doing, Flume, because that was great. <sighs> Guess who's back? Back again. Comedian's back. Tell a friend to like and subscribe. Today on my exciting sit down and talk to the camera channel, I'm going to be reviewing slash reacting to Flume's brand new EP, which is called Quits and is collaboration with somebody called Rio Kragoon, which I probably pronounced incorrectly. Hooray! Before we get this started, uh, if you're wondering if I'm a Flume fan, the answer is a hell yeah! I love Flume. Uh, I've been listening to Flume since, um, the first day I listened to him, I guess. I think he makes very nice music. Uh, I saw him live at Okeechobee in 2016, uh, and I thought he played very nice music. So yeah, all around, a big fan of the guy. Uh, love what he's doing, lovely guy, loves his custard. Uh, nice beats. Um, keep it up, Flume. But I am, I am a fan of Flume, so I am extra excited uh, to watch this video. And by video, I mean listen to this song. Uh, and by song, I mean the EP. Um, so let's do it. Let's get into it. Uh, f track number one is Flume and... <gasps> da -da -da -da! Surprise, surprise, Rayo Kragoon, because the whole EP is a this guy. And it's called Quits. And let's listen to it. Let's quit the bullshit, which is me talking, and get to the song. Now. All damn time we was loving on the cover, yeah. Don't you know that kills me inside? She always get the best of me, I lose my mind. Okay, already, uh, the, 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 the singing reminds me a bit of sort of being at like an English farmer's market, or just an English market, you know. Two for a pound, pound for a penny, yeah. Uh, two for a pound, uh, ten for a pound, apples, ten for a pound. It's kind of got that vibe to it. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. But I'm about to blow, blow, blow. Fuck that shit, fuck that shit. Okay, I didn't think uh, I would be filming a porn today, um, but um, wow, that song went from zero to a billion in like no seconds at all. Wow, that beat, that when it just comes in like that. I ain't starting fights, but I'm about to blow. Fuck that shit, fuck that shit. <laughs> That tease, that tease. I thought we were about to break into like a full kind of like, I don't know, Avatar ending cinematic music when the when the pitch goes up right around. Then the tease. Technical difficulties. I'm back. All right, my camera just killed itself, but I persuaded it to get down from the ledge or jump back on the ledge so we're good to go um let's do this uh what was i what was i talking about what was i listening to flume music Zzz. all right treat my bitch like a season treat my bitch like a seesaw change my bitch like seasoning i don't know um i don't know what the lyrics are. Maybe I just suck at listening. <laughs> this guy's vocal style is interesting. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if maybe if I decided yeah to the end of my sentences, I would be uh, more interesting. Yeah. What's up, guys? My name is Comedian. Yeah. Doing a reaction video on YouTube. Yeah. Listening to some music and telling how I feel about it. Yeah. Let's get back on with the reaction, yeah! Let's call it quiz, call it quiz, oh yeah. Jesus Christ! Flume! Flume! Flume, you monstrous, monstrous, irresponsible pan pied pied pan pied piper. What the fuck was that, Flume? Jesus Christ! Call it quiz, call it quiz. 
It's like a lo-fi Legend of Zelda dream. Yes. Yes. This is the music Fry could play in Futurama if he had the robot hands. I've forgotten the instrument, but woohoo! Semophone? No. Holophone. Yeah, it's fucking Flume bringing back the dank holophoneness from Futurama. One more time. Jesus Christ. I'm calling it now. Flume is the future base Enya. Oh, <laughs> that is great. <laughs> okay, uh, this song is all over the place for me because, like, obviously, you know, Flume's musicality is always groundbreaking. I just don't know how I feel about the lyrics. I, uh, not even the lyrics, the vocals. I was like, I don't hate it. It's just kind of weird. It's an interesting clash, but it's kind of an interesting interplay. If I want to use a pretentious word, like interplay, the interplay of sounds is very nice. Some of it, some of it, I just find too comical, like. The fact he just goes, yeah, after certain sentences, and in this bit, he's just going, ooh, da, ooh. He sounds like that beluga whale from uh, Finding Dory, ooh, trying to get his, uh, you know, senses working again. Let's listen to this bit again, this is hilarious. It's like tennis, tennis crowd reactions. Ooh, ha, ooh, hep. Come on! <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh, I don't even know how you react to that. It's just like next level. So next level doesn't do it justice, because next level is what you say when you're playing a video game. Am I right? Video game jokes. I have to rewind this bit. Let's hear it again. It's like a future-based train. Yes! Thomas the Spank Engine, am I right? Woo! Train rave! Alright, some Skrillexy vocal chops in there. I see you, Flume. Woo! Alright, first trong is it. First trong? What's wrong with me? First song is a certified bang -er, Spelled B A N G E U R, for those who are wondering. That was absolute class. Um, let's get straight into the next one. I absolutely love that. Ooh. Next track is called Levitate, um, which I hope is an accurate description of what the song does to me and my brain and my internal genitalia parts. Fingers crossed. Is that how you cross fingers? No, it isn't, is it? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> This is a very different start from most of Flume's soft music, I would say. I have listened to most of Flume's music. Fl Flume? Flume? What's wrong with my brain today? Kisses couple states away. She blow me back and then I elevate. We go on hunting like a speed race. You know your heart, I never break. I thought I made that clear. Don't wanna have you living in fear. You know I'm in it for the ride. Baby, I'm in it for the ride. Something about this beat is making me sort of um like almost like nauseous or claustrophobic. And yet I still don't hate it. There's just something very genius about the way Flu makes music that's so evocative. It's so emotionally charged. So you have to respect it. Even though I'm kind of feeling like I might have a panic attack from the beat for some reason, I still respect the fact that I want to kind of curl up in a ball and shiver. You race, you know your heart, I never break. I thought I made that clear, don't wanna have you living in. This is overwhelming. You know I'm in it for the ride. There's something about these vocals, they're just... That bass swish, that bass swish is like being flicked by a big fat bass pony's tail. Just dong. Take this bass, wa dong. Wow. Wow. 
Yes, I love it. What was that noise? Let's hear that noise again. Wah. Sounds like a remorseful Transformers. It's okay, Optimus Prime, it'll be fine. Only tell me play safe. Use the daydream and take it to the second base. If they do you wrong, I set a flame no whole place. I mean no whole place. Oh yeah. I thought I made that. I've read some uh, early opinions or feedback of this, and I can see why people are kind of uh, divided or split on the uh, the 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 lyrics and the, and the song style by uh, Rayo Kragoon or probably pronounced that incorrectly four different times by now. And I get it, but I think the thing about Flume is like, he knows exactly what he wants from his music, how you, you feel like he has complete musical control of like his style, and he, yeah, you feel like he can probably translate directly the thoughts from his brain onto computer music, which is hard for most people to do. And I just don't think he gives a shit, like I think he knows what he wants to do. I feel like it's hard to criticize his music because he's like so, he has such control over the, his art. Uh, again, a very pretentious thing to say. I'm so disappointed in myself every time I do a video. Ugh. <laughs> The claustrophobicness of this song is perfectly matched by that album art because a lot of people said it makes them feel very uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable, but in a good way, you know? So it reminds me of my own mortality in a very horrifying way. The fragility of human nature, the fact I could walk outside right now and get run over by a mosquito, probably, because I'm pretty skinny. I feel like this song and the album art, like, well, this song explains the album art a lot more now I've listened to it. <laughs> Yes. Give me the bass tail. You have some bass. You have some bass. Have some bass. You have some bass. Have a chill outro. It's alright. This song, it treads a very fine border between, like, being very pretty and very gritty. Which rhymes! Yay, me! I don't know, I'm literally torn between greatly enjoying it and feeling immensely uncomfortable. Which is a skill, I mean, if you said to any producer, please make me a song that makes me feel immensely... The adjectives I just said, uh, they'd be like, huh? <laughs> Pretty fair ground piano noises. Okay, and the last track on EP is Friends, which I've definitely heard before because it was released as a single, but it does also have the uh, addendum in the title, open brackets, edit, close brackets. Um, so maybe it's different or like a remixy one, or maybe it's just like a kind of slightly different version? Have I already said that? Maybe it's just more like a radio edit. I don't know. I have heard this before potentially, so, you know, I'm not going to pretend I haven't. But let's see what it is. That was so unnecessary. But I'm going to leave it in anyway, because I hate you guys. No, I just went straight into it. Oh no, this is different. This is different. Cool. Alright. No, wait. I got... I got All right, so it just seems to, it seems like the edit for the song is the fact that it basically starts like half a, sec, half a minute in. I don't know, maybe I got a weird copy um, when I paid money for it. But that drop is still just as crisp as it was when it was released a few weeks ago. It's like being hit by a gentle summer wave of bass. You're at the bass beach enjoying a nice bass margarita. You've got a bass sun hat and then suddenly, whoosh, the bass waves start crashing in from the shore. Be friends, I don't. Do not talking. 
It does seem like it's maybe very slightly different from the original single version, but it could just be what you're thinking, other than the fact that it gets straight into it at the start. And right back to the bass beach. Classy, like electro swing, but with future bass. Half time electro swing. I'm going to talk about music and musical genres like I have any idea what I'm talking about. Because I don't. That doesn't make sense. More pan pipes. Hey, if Flume's on a pan pipe kick, pan pipe, pan flute, I'm okay with that. There are worse things that have happened in this world. I'll be the first to say it. And the last. I, mean, I don't really have as much to say about this song because I have already heard it, pretty much. It feels a bit less authentic reacting to it when my brain has already done reacting to it like a month ago. Because I want to be honest with you guys, you know, I want to bring you my honest reaction. And I've already, I've already reacted out of this one. I'm reacted out. And I, my honest reaction right now is I come to look at this man's mouth. You need some floss, my friend. Everyone, if you're watching this video, floss. I should floss. All that negativity is bringing me down. You're so toxic, how you live like this? Don't want to be friends, I don't want to be friends. Well, that was it. That was the the new friends, the new friends, the new flume EP, or mini EP, uh, which is called... Uh, I've already forgotten. Quits. I remembered as I started to look. It's called Quits. But I wouldn't advise you to quit what you're doing, Flume, because that was great. <sighs> but yeah, uh, I absolutely loved that. That was great. Um, the first track especially is an absolute twonker. It completely slaps. It's just instantly, just straight in there, you know, without even the bass, just the, 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 the synths and everything. Just the emotion is boosh! Box rush, boosh! Straight in your face with the synths. Uh, it's just, you know, really good, really, like, just deep, uh, adjective music, um, it's just adjectives, uh, and, and the adjective, uh, way which in which he adjectives his verb is just unbelievable, to be quite honest. Um, there's something about Flume which is just so adjective. Um, wait, what was I saying? It's great. I love it. And honestly, like, this is very exciting because Flume's one of those people who can just sort of disappear off the radar for a while and not make any music. Um, but he's been releasing quite a lot of music lately, so I really hope he comes out of an album soon. I will definitely be reacting to that if he does. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Uh, any music coming out, any videos coming out, any home videos you have of yourself filmed, let me know about them and I'll react to it. Because why not? Apart from that, uh, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, uh, a like, if you liked, uh, a like if you didn't like, because I'm fair and impartial, uh, and have a great day. <sighs>